Summer here and welcome back to my channel. We're here with Vampires Let's Play Part 6 and today we have Henrietta here and she has been planning her revenge on her four prisoners here. So we have Caleb, we have Leela, we have, I think that is okay, Sylvia, Rachel, I always get the two mixed up, Rachel and Sylvia. So they are our four prisoners. Now, I have learned that Caleb here has a resistance to some. What I was planning to do was to basically use my vampire powers and her link to the, what do you call it, the llama demon to basically get trap Caleb here in the garden. I had a really cool little story planned and then I realised that he has the resistance to vampires and I can't kill him. And also, I would like to introduce this little cutie pie before we go on any further. Let's find out what's wrong. This is Henrietta's beautiful little cat. His name is Serafino. Um, I did a tiny, tiny bit of research online to find a cool name. And I figured out that this name actually means, um, well, from what I read, it meant fiery one or burning one was another comp another um. Meaning, uh, meaning that I found, I like how we're just sitting here staring at the cat taking a poop. Um, but yeah, anyway, so basically, um, I thought that was quite an apt name, considering what happened to Jonathan. Um, so, lots to go through. So first things first, we're going to kill Caleb. The sunlight will not kill him. So what we're going to do is, did she find out what's wrong with her little cat? The first thing we're going to do is basically... Um, going to turn him into a human. Um, so Henrietta has been working on her vampire lore, um, which she is now level 13, so she's almost there. Um, the sun should be down now, so she's going to go out and plant these plants, which is what she needs for her, um, her concoction to turn him into a human. Sorry, I um, lost my chain of thought there. Or Train of thought, chain of thought, must be train of thought, right? Who really knows? Not me. But yeah, we're going to kill Caleb. And we're also going to wait. Oh, hi, little kitty, what's wrong? We're also going to um, wait for Jonathan to come and visit the house. And we're going to befriend him and ask him to move back in here. So that we can then turn him well, basically resurrect him again. Resurrect him. Oh my god. What is wrong with me and words? Like, I literally cannot say any words. Like, words are just not my friends. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to bring him back to life. And we're going to continue our life with Jonathan. Because no one else compares. Jonathan was gorgeous. He was beautiful. He understood Henrietta. He was everything that Henrietta ever wanted and more. So she's going to bring him back. That is her plan. So she is planning on making the Ambrosia. But to do that, she has lots of skills she needs to learn. Um, it's basically a really hard thing to learn. Um, but she's going to do it. Go prowling then, little one. Um, yeah, so she's going to do it. And that's going to be her next step in the plan. And she is also going to have to kill off these three girls as well. So I've not really decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, we could try and kill them in different ways. Um, I was thinking as well once she builds up her um, vampire lore, her vampire power, sorry, she could maybe, I don't know, the one here about um, influence emotion. I was wondering like if you could get them like really, really um, like, um, like playful and make them What's the word, um, what's the one when they die from being, like, too fun, like, having too much funniness? Oh my god, I can't even think, what is it called? Is it, like, just die from laughter or whatever? I don't know, but that's what we're going to do anyway. That is how the, um, well, it's one of my plans. I'm not really sure what exactly I'm going to do, but it's one of the plans that I'm thinking of. Um, why can't you go prowling? Is there nothing to prowl here? Can you chase these birds or can you only chase the pigeons? Do you get pigeons in all the different worlds? I don't know. I've not really played with pets in all the worlds. 
I don't know. Can't see any. Hmm. Maybe someone can let me know, because I don't see any and I don't know. Oh, that's a shame. He's bored and he just wants to go prowling. But yeah, so that's what she's going to do. So she's going to work on her um her vampire skills and basically get that as far up as she can go. So I think we are on the number three, if I can find it. Yep, so she's going to read that and she'll get on with it. She also has to go and drink some blood. Why is she back on there? I actually got her down from there. And then she's managed to get back up there. And she, it's like she's trying to get a signal. She's holding her phone up like, can I get a signal, guys? Now, okay. Go and drink some blood. Henry, and the, Henry has learned everything about that she can from this book. Okay, well, just stop that then because we don't want to, um, we don't want to waste time on that, do we? No, we don't. Right, vampire, drink plasma, compel for a deep drink. And then after that, hmm, perhaps we can get one of them. She ranked up to a prime vampire. Yippee! Okay, maybe what she can do is she can command her to repair. And maybe if she repairs the fridge, um, she might get electrocuted. She might. Wait, I said to stop reading that book. Why don't you listen? Wait, compel her for a deep drink. Because she is one thirsty vampire. Yay. So what can we get with our points now? Do we have to like take... Why can't we get the ones? Do we have to like level up first? That's kind of sucky. Right, let's take a uh, weakness. We'll do weathered stomach. Um, Because she doesn't want to eat human food anyway. Um, Henry's Vampire makes her all more effective at the game of love. She'll win fights more often and work it more efficiently. Garlic community. Let's do that one because she's going to be working with garlic. And this one too. Um, Henry's begin to study. Uh, rah, rah, rah. She's win less energy fits in the fight. Um, okay, let's just do these ones then. So she is going to work on her skulls. And we'll also see what is the next one that she needs to buy then. Oh, we've already got one of them, don't we? Yeah, we have two of them actually. Um, let's just stick that there and she can read that then. Girl needs the wee wee. Did that work? Okay, so let's see what happens when she repairs these items. Because she's in such a low mood. Oh, she's not actually. She's doing okay. Maybe we should have done someone else. Yeah, we probably should have done somebody else. But we'll see what happens. She might die. That needs repaired. Go and repair it. Um. Okay, maybe we'll just go and do that then. See if she can do it. And see if she dies. Um, discovered draw of reconfiguration. Henry has learned that there is a drink that allows vampires to reset all the powers. She can now make the draw of reconfiguration at the bar. Ooh, so that is another option. Let's go and do that. Um, because what we can do is we can make that drink, give it to Caleb, then he will become um not then he'll lose his immunity to the sun, and um he'll lose his immunity to the sun, and that means he can die. <laughs> Sunlight reversal. So you have insufficient funds. We need a thousand some millions. Okay, I think it's time we start putting these peeps to work down here. Let's get a little um oh can we even afford an easel? 
She is so poor. I don't understand why she's so poor. She shouldn't be poor. Like, a forward one. She shouldn't be poor. Because, um, what was she doing on, why did I buy a computer? I don't know. I bought a computer for some reason. Um, how much is this? It's not even worth it. Um, yeah, let's just sell that because she doesn't even need it. And we can bring that in there anyway so it looks a little nicer. Look at this cobweb. Um, okay, that gives us 3.43. Let's go up and sell the bugs. We don't need them anyway. They're just randomly there, annoying everyone. And by everyone, I mean me. Just taking up space. You don't even get, like, hardly any money for them anyway. What you doing? Go down here. Oh, you're killing me. You're really killing me. And sorry, I also bumped my mic. I do apologise. Um, yeah, let's just sell these two. We don't need these. And I like, oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. And I think I might actually die for pressing the wrong button. It is doing my nothing. Okay, and why does I go build mode? Ah, my life. Okay, easel, easel, easel. Okay, and stick this here. This bin can move its butt. Let's put this bin over here. And the easel can go here. Is that like sticking through or anything? Probably is. But do I care? Not really. If they can still use it, then I'm happy. Okay, so we discovered that she's feeling fine. So she can be the first one to paint then. So go and paint as a nice large classic painting. And that's basically all you're good for right now is bringing in some money to this household. Okay, so I guess we'll see which one comes first. Is it going to be the vampire cure? Or is it going to be the um, one that makes him lose his powers? I cannot remember what it's called. So we will see what happens. And because um, she might earn enough money to make that. Or in the meantime, she might also get all the plants that she needs and level up in the skills that she needs. So how's everybody doing down here? He is really, really parched. Caleb needs a certain liquid to quench this thirst. What happens after this becomes irresistible thirst in seven hours. Um. So yeah, so what does she want to do? Buy a pet ball and make an enemy. So let's go and make an enemy. Um, in fact, you just sell that. That's worth nothing. You lost money on that. Leela. You are worthless to me. You really, really are. And she's so sad. She just wants Jonathan back. She wants him. Right. Um, yell at. Min, 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 min. And Salty's yard, even though his yard is basically this little box here. His prison. Implies mother is a llama. That's bound to make someone upset. Mean argument music. So Jonathan's never, not really popped up yet. Um, he's been dead for a few days now. We have his urn here, so I was hoping that we would see him a few times because we need him to move back into the family. I mean, I hope it's not too late. Oh, that would be really sad. That would ruin everything. Well, he's still here. He still exists. Oh, Jonathan, we need you. Come back to me. Right, let's go down and see what she's up to and see how she's getting on. If she can declare this dude an enemy yet. Let's see. Throw a drink. Yes, they now despise each other. So perhaps we can be enemies. Not yet. Why has she got this here? Compel for a deep drink. Why has she still got that there? I don't know. To clear enemy. Here we go, here we go. 
So she can declare him an enemy. And what else does she need to do with her? Defeat three vampires in combat. Now, um, in the, not the last part, but the part before, um, what is his name? Jonathan turned three people into vampires. Um, I guess I should go back and remember, so I can remember what their names were. If you happen to remember, that would be great. You could just let me know. Um, but if not, I will look it up myself and stop being lazy. Um, let's see, we, we don't know them, I don't think. So let's see if we can add them. So he's not the right one. He needs to get out because I added him in thinking it was him and it's not him. Let's see. I know Eliza Pancakes was one. So is she here? Eliza! Oh, Eliza! No. Was it Colby? I don't think so. I don't think it was Colby. Okay. So we don't know who it is so far. We're going to have to just kind of... I saw one of them turn into a vampire. He was actually here. And uh, yeah, they became enemies. He was actually here somewhere and he became a vampire. But it was daytime, so Henrietta was not risking it to go out to play and see him. Because she didn't want to suffer the... Oh, happy Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. She didn't want to suffer the same fate as this man here. Sorry, I just got super, super excited. Right, ditch all that. We don't care about that. Get over here and see Jonathan before the sun comes up. Can we already ask him about to ask to move in yet? Yeah, I mean, I know that, like, deep conversation. We can woohoo with him. That's woohoo. That's bound to build up her, um, the relationship. And also, I mean, like, I don't think I've ever woohooed with a ghost in The Sims before. Uh, ooh. Where are they going to woohoo? That's what I would like to know. What are they, little statues? I don't know. Oh, that's the statues I've got on that blooming thing. It looked from the side. It looked like like a bearded billy goat or something. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I know it's not a bearded billy goat. Jonathan's going to be like, so when did we decide to keep all these prisoners? Because this is his house, remember? Like, she moved into his house. Look at the sun burning through his chest as a painful reminder of what happened. Oh, they're going to, can they woohoo in here? I don't even know if this bed was usable because of all the stuff I'd put on it. I guess it is. Never even tried it out. I they get a little bit of privacy with the nice, um, with the nice, what do you call it, the, the curtains? Singular satisfaction. <laughs> what? They're friends at the past. Get to know Lilith. Mm, probably not. What would it be like <laughs> with a ghost? That genuinely is the first time I've ever done it. Usually you get these achievements pop up and you're like, yeah, bitch, been there, done that, wore the t-shirt. But I've genuinely never had this in woohoo with a ghost before. So that is definitely interesting. We don't want to sleep though. Come here. We want Jonathan. Oh, he's happy. That's good. Let's see now how our relationship is. I want you to move in, Jonathan. We can't ask him to move in yet. So let's see. Ask about being dead. Look how sexy she looks in a sexy underwear. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a creep. <laughs> oh, listen to his spooky voice. She finds it funny anyway. I suppose it, oh, it just disappeared in there. I guess it is funny because, I mean, she's immortal. And I suppose Jonathan thought he was too. Deep conversation. Tell engaging story. Come on. We want you to move in. Am I missing it? Discuss plasma flavors. Mm. 
But at least you can show off the new pet as well, because he hasn't met Serafino yet. I just really want him to move in. Oh, he's blown as a little kiss. How cute. Compliment his outfit. She'd be like, you still look as hot as ever. I mean, I suppose we could just cheat it, I suppose. We could just do add to family. I would like to do that. Um, yeah, because he's going to go back to his arm soon. So let's just do that. Add him to family. And he's here. We don't need to worry. He can go back to living his life as a ghost for now. Um, okay. That's what we'll do, guys. He can move in until Henrietta has figured out how to resurrect him. Because I don't want to lose him. I really don't. Um, and I'm a bit worried that if we don't add him to the family soon, he'll just um, go to wherever that place was called. When you go back to the Netherworlds, was it? What did it say? Da, 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 da. Oh, you can't. The Netherworld, yeah. And we don't want to do that. We definitely don't. You don't need to mourn him, baby. He's right here. He's here. Chill. Okay, you can go down and get a wee drink anyway from your little plasma factory down here. And then um, probably sleep through the day until it is the bedtimes. But yeah, I think we've made a good plan. So, first step is um, get him dead so turn him into a human or um oh she's too uncomfortable turn him into a human or um take away his powers so that he can die in the sun so whatever comes first we'll do that and then the next part will be um to get these girls um killed as well so whether we do that i was going to try and do it through um Sorry, I just bumped my mic again. Going to try and do it either through the die from laughter or maybe even humiliation. That could be good because they could easily die from humiliation he in here. All they have to do is wet themselves and then have someone walk in on them in the bath so or on the toilet. So that could be an e oil in the bath probably. That could be an easy way to do it. So, I mean, the opportunities are endless. We will figure out what we would like to do with these girls. And then the last part is bringing... Jonathan back to life which is going to take a while because to get Ambrosia you need level 10 cooking and gourmet cooking um, and she needs to craft a death flower which takes a while and catch an angel fish which she can only do at night and she also needs a portion of youth as well so um, yeah we'll just see how we got on with that then but yeah guys um, and this is for thirst must resist Caleb must resist the urge to sink his fans to the first night he sees oh interesting but yeah, guys, I think this would be a great place to end it here. Um, I'm quite happy with our progress today. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter and Vidme and on YouTube, um, all with the username Singing Simmer. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked it and I hope to see you next time. Bye!